fellow at at the Smithsonian uh, Conservation Biology Institute in Washington, D.C. Um, I work on basic oocyte development and uh, maternal genome preservation. I think I expect to get a lot of different uh, or a lot of experience with new techniques that I'm unfamiliar with um, and meet a lot of people that, you know, maybe I've read their papers or know about them, but it's really different when you can actually interact with them and get to know someone, um, not just from their publications, but meet them one-on-one. -on -one. It's a very beautiful setting. Um, we're, I don't want to say this in a bad way, but in a bad way, but we're all sort of trapped here together. There's, you know, it's not really a big city, it's a small town, and um, and so when we do have free time, we kind of all go out together, and it's fun because we're sort of all in the same boat. We're in similar stages of our career, and and then it's, I'm sure, fun for the faculty to, you know, help us postdocs as well. So, yeah, I think the setting is, is really important, uh, and it's, it's really fun, it's absolutely gorgeous here. I came from a very uh, model organism genetics molecular biology background, and um, I didn't work in a, in a mammalian species, which I do now. So it's quite a bit different, and there are a lot of aspects of reproductive biology that I hadn't thought of before or that I had read about, but it's really different when you can sort of go and be lectured on it. So you can read about these things, um, and that's definitely helpful, but the lectures are very, very helpful. It's a pretty, you know, specialized course to be able to do, and, and certainly not in, you know, reproductive biology. So it's nice to kind of get many aspects of, or talk about many aspects and techniques in molecular biology and really how they're applied to reproductive biology. It's one thing to, you know, read about it, but it's totally different when you're actually doing the experiments, and they may be techniques that you, you know, do things very similar uh, in lab at home, but to actually get to do the experiment is, I think, really important. It shows you how to, how you can actually do it. It's an amazing experience. Um, I've had a really good time. Um, I would say that, you know, you should definitely do it. I think that you should be prepared to work hard and consider, you know, read very carefully the course descriptions and 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 the, I guess, the schedule. It's a very packed schedule, um, so you kind of have to be ready to ready to go all in in that sense. Just even say yesterday, you know, we were giving a, a summary of everything that we did the previous week. We did that in the morning, and then in the afternoon we went to Martha's Vineyard and. Uh, you know, rode bikes around all day, got some exercise, which was much needed. <laughs> and then we, you know, came back here and um, had some of, we had Sunday off, and then we were right back into lecture. And so you're getting out to do something really fun, you know, in between, but then also it's just, you know, right back into it. And you just really get back to back labs, in my case, of a lot of things that I don't have experience with.